Also, I want to talk about um, before Tom Rhodes gets here. That's where our guest is, and I love him. Um, did you see the Star Wars trailer? I did. Did you see it? No, I haven't. How, how do you feel about it? I was excited. Ah, uh, I was excited. Are you one to think that the Last Jedi was one of the worst movies ever made? Uh, I did not like it. I don't think it was. But do you the think it's one of the worst? It, do you th- admit this though? It's the worst Star Wars movie ever made. Nope. Episode oh my two. God, you have to be out of the your first three mind. with Jar Jar Binks. I'm so confused. I'd by rather you. do a Jar Jar Bunk Binks one man <laughs> show. Jar Jar, B- right underwater with all mm. his fucking. Uh, I think you're you're a little bit. You get swayed a lot by by um, public opinion because when you walked out of there, we watched it together. You were like, "God, that was pretty good. I liked it." Oh yeah. And then you watched all of the Galactic reviewers. Casino. Uh, and that when you watch all the reviewers, weird. then you started to really get on their bandwagon. Oh, babe. It's the truth. <laughs> it's I'm the sorry. Truth. I have to tell the world how you are. What would you think about uh, this one, though? I, I, I just want to say this, okay, that you, maybe you are right. Maybe that there was... I, okay, I, I remember watching The Last Jedi and walking out. And you know what it is? It's like this. It's, it's, it's so hyped. And because you... The music you're so familiar with, the sound of the lightsaber you're so familiar with, you know the whole vibe of it. Yeah, it there's there's sprinkles of nostalgia, just by playing the music, and having certain characters in there like Luke mm-hmm. Skywalker, right? Mm-hmm. So you, subconsciously or whatever, you just convince yourself that this is a good movie. It's one of those movies where you have to sit down and close your eyes and think about. And then you realize, oh, nothing makes makes sense. And also, I didn't think that the Le- Princess Leia in the space thing, Frozen, the Superman thing was Superman ridiculous. Mary Poppins <laughs> thing was that I didn't think that that was great. I thought that was like, what the fuck is this? It was weird. And then them go to the casino thing with um, Benicio del Toro. It's like, oh, it, nothing happened, right? And then the switcheroo with the was the lady with the purple hair. You know, the feminist, you know. Oh, so yeah, Jurassic Park. I thought Last Jedi was Laura one of the worst Dern. Star Wars movie, um, but I have to give Disney and Kathleen Kennedy some props by um, getting Re- Ryan Johnson out of there and and t- and telling J.J. Abrams you have to direct this, to finish it off. Mm. You have to do it because it, you still feel now. You know, I'm like, okay, uh, we're kind of in good hands, maybe. You know, and they're gonna do. Everything they can to make it up to the fans. That's all. George Lucas is supervising on some of it. That's not good news. <laughs> <laughs> that was not good news, what you just said. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. You know, um, I just, I would really, it's, the, that franchise, to me, I think is kind of dead in the, because of the fact that, especially as an adult, mm. you want somebody to make it that's a little bit more edgy and dark right you want mm-hmm. for me you know because Empire Strikes Back was a dark movie he gets his hand chopped off he finds out the most evil person in the universe is his dad mm-hmm. right he fall. remember that whole scene where he's in the cloud city he's upside down mm-hmm. with his hand off and it just dooms dooms it then his best friend is frozen into a block of ice or whatever that thing was and shipped to Jabba the Hutt. That, that movie... Pretty fucked up now. That and, I, I, and, and I was a kid watching it, mm-hmm. so scared and so sad and devastated by it. Or the but, but it also mm-hmm. made me walk out of the theater going, that was fucking cool. And I couldn't handle it as a kid. And now this foofy bullshit that they're doing. This is Disney probably, right? Children are far more stronger than you think. Look at the children like on Instagram. They're with their hoochie hoochie and all that. Oh What's the God. hoochie hoochie? You know, big kids, they go to, you know what I mean? Coachella. Are you looking at high schoolers? No, that's what I'm class? saying. I've just heard about it. The coochie coochie. <laughs> I just heard about it. I heard about the coochie coochie and the, the kids coochie coochies going and out. The hoochie hoochies. Come on. Yeah. You know? I love that word, hoochie. Also, the house is coming up. So, what is he here? Um, he'll be here right at nine. That's what oh, he okay. said? Yep. Okay. okay um, oh, let's stop. Let's just stop it and then... You know, I think that's a pretty good... Well, I've got a great way to solve the, the Star Wars franchise. What? Well, you know how the worst, first one had like got structure from uh, Akira Kurosawa with the Hidden Fortress, yes. like telling it from the perspective of the, the uh, least important, per, important characters? Yeah. Just rip off every Kurosawa plot, you know? Get Han Solo in a Yojimbo type of plot. 
get a Rashomon plot. Every plot has been the same for a long time. So why not just get some uh, some good plots in there? That's a pretty good idea. That is, yeah. I mean, the, the, from the greatest the, okay, movies ever. I know the Yohimbo plot though. It's been done so many so many times in westerns. Yeah. That you know you can't it's do you can't incorporate, but you can incorporate. I I would like to see a Seven Samurai maybe mm-hmm. one, where it's like um, getting a ragtag group of people to fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? The new empire maybe. I have a question for you. Yeah. Are you the person who did this to my T-shirt? I have a. Th- I don't know who did this. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab Tom, guys. This is a sleeve, and then this one is no sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I, why would I do that? Who did this? I didn't do that. Why would I do that? <laughs> why would I do this? It's my favorite shirt. Because that's how what workout people do. They do the yoga, workout, and they stretch on just half my body. Yeah, I don't know. You guys do stretches on your right side. Do you, and wanna, you just want to show off this, Mark. 